Hello there, I'm Lambda, and today I'm bringing you another tutorial on how to do funny things in Hammer. Now, as you may notice in our map here, uh, actually if, if you didn't notice it, I'm going to have to interview your parents to figure out where they went wrong with you. But I built this little house here, just this little, a little place, and I actually gave the inside of it textures. Except for this, which you'll see why this is no draw here in a second. It's because glass. Now, with glass, what we can see here is it's a little shiny. But, if you were to compile this map right now, you'd see no reflections on anything. I intentionally tried putting in walls and uh, floor textures that have some sort of specular to them. Or any sort of reflectivity on them, because... Today, we're doing a tutorial on cube maps. Yes, the funny thing in Source that allows you to see reflections. Now, cube maps should be used sparingly in your levels as they can kind of cause problems. That being with uh, file size. Now, my general tip for cube maps is you should place them in places that are at least important and have plenty of reflections. So, like, right, putting a cube map right here wouldn't really do much other than if you look on, like, the 357 and you, you look at the reflections, you would just see this in the reflection. And if you were to put one, like, right here, that wouldn't really do much either. But putting one inside this house and between these two, uh, like, the entrance here and then the actual, like, building part here would be fine. Now, to actually put in cube maps to our level, what we're going to do is we're going to head over, head over to the entity tool and we're going to throw down a cube map about right here at the doorstep. I don't know what just happened. Uh, okay, I guess. So now with this, what we're going to do is we're going to type in env underscore cube map. Now, you don't exactly want to mess around with anything in here. Leave it, leaving this as default will uh, put down like somewhat decent quality cube maps, or you can really increase your file size if you want to. But leaving it at default, perfectly fine. Especially if the cube map is not going to be noticed on many surfaces. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit apply, as you do. And we're going to roughly put this to where the player's height is. So as you can see, with info player start here, the head would probably be about, about there. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw our cube map a little... I didn't mean to grab that. A little bit up. Now, as you can see... I actually pro actually looking at it now, I probably built this house a little bit too big. Nah, eh, who cares. So now, with this at player's head level, uh, you now have a cube map here with the entrance. Now to have a smooth transition so it's not like immediately just like snapped, what we're going to do is we're going to hold down control, shift, and press down. So we created another one at basically the same level. You have to have your mouse in this window, or any of these windows, particularly the top one, so it doesn't affect your Z level. And now what we're going to do is we're going to throw our cube map uh, an equal distance away. So now we have two cube maps that are here. And now, can you guess where we put the next cube map? If you guessed directly in the center of the room, you would be correct. That That's about the center. Uh, there we go. Now, for cases like windows or reflective surfaces like marble flooring, which these are textures from Counter-Strike Source, now... What you'd want to do is you don't want your window here drawing reflections from inside. That's going to be a bit confusing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a bit of a cool thing, which is we're going to create another one of these. 
cube maps, and we're going to put this about here in front of the window. So as you may notice, we, ha we, we already have quite a few cube maps, so we have four. Now, with this being said, this probably would not, like, eat up too much of your file space, because, well... I have made a previous map that has quite a good amount of cube maps in it, and it's only, like, I don't know, like, uh, 200 megabytes. And I don't think that's just alone from cube maps, that's probably just, like, also, generally, the file size of the map. But, now that we have our cube maps here in place, what we're going to do is we're going to save. Always remember, control S, and hit F9, and compile. And now that we've compiled our map, we're going to boot up Gmod. Now, now that we're in our map, what we're going to do is, as you can see, we have reflections. No, just kidding. No, we don't. Now, you may be wondering, what the heck? Why doesn't my map have reflections? Didn't we just put in cube maps? Lambda, you idiot. Well, you see, this is where our best friend comes in. This is weapon underscore cube map, which is basically a weapon that allows you to view cube maps in a level. It's in slot 3, it doesn't have an icon, so you just do this. And by this, we can confirm that our map doesn't have any cube maps. Now, you may be thinking, well, we just put in cube maps, didn't we? So, with this in mind, what we're going to do is we're going to pull out a weapon that doesn't produce any sort of, like, light or sprite something, or something like this. Because if we do this, the, cu the cube map will actually create a cube map, but it will have, like, the physics gun light in it. So, what we're going to do instead is we're just going to hold out a weapon like the crowbar, and we're going to stand clear off sight. Probably, which probably doesn't matter, to be honest, but what we do is we do this. We go into our console. Oh yeah, by the way, to give yourself the cube map, it's give weapon underscore cube map. And it will and give you a cube map. But, besides the point, we're going to type building cube maps into the console with one as a integer. And now... We're going to type in build cube maps. Now what this will do is, don't freak out, your game will, is not getting hacked by a rogue, <laughs> by some sort of rogue party. But it's going to take a bunch of screenshots of your map. And basically, it's going to compile all those into cube maps. It's going to stitch all the images together and actually generate reflections based on what the screenshots see. So now... Whenever the map loads, you'll notice a little something. So, now that we're loaded in, no graph validate. So, now you may notice something. There's cube maps, be it because we select a default, they're pretty low quality. But, this is generally just like a basic idea on how cube maps actually work. And yeah, certain certain uh things look better with cube maps and cert and other than, you know, other things. But as you can see here on this bell, this like dome light, you can see how it's like all the images are stitched together and they basically create a cube map. Now if we bring out our good old uh Weapon underscore cube map. And if we select that out, as you'll see, we actively have cube maps in our level now. So if we go close to this window, you'll see that it has the cube map of the window. If we go close to the door, we'll have the exterior, interior, and the center of the room. Now, how cube maps work, it's basically, say, uh, if something is really close to a cube map, it will pull from that cube map directly. So if this was here, this cube map, it would pull from this and not this. So because this is closer to the cube map we placed here. So as you can see here, you can kind of see it happening live. 
But yeah. That was pretty uh, interesting, as you'd expect. But yeah. Also, quick reminder, as, as I said before, do not start placing cube maps everywhere, but if you see instances where stuff just looks wrong or out of place, you might want to just like put a cube map here, just so that way it doesn't look bad. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy this tutorial, and I'll be back with one soon. Goodbye.